New developments to tell you about in a deadly small plane crash we reported on earlier this month. Now we get a look at surveillance video showing the moment that single engine aircraft hit a building in Katy. We want to alert you that the footage you're about to see may be tough to watch. Our Brandon Walker joining us live at the scene of the accident off Kingsland Boulevard. He's live there now. Brandon? Yeah, and Bill, the temporary fencing behind me, the sign of where that plane crashed here the morning of July 13th, also a sign of the work that still needs to be done to get this place repaired. That video in the hands of investigators tonight as they work to answer what happened. It fell out of the sky out of nowhere, it seems. A fireball consuming a small utility building. The cause, this single-engine plane, its pilot crashing to his death. By now, you've seen video of the aftermath. Pieces of a plane speckled about in a pool, a parking lot. The damage and debris, for the most part, left contained to the property of Mason Creek Community Center. The pool was closed, and no one at the center, officials say, was hurt. In fact, the pilot, identified as 69-year-old Nasher Madura, was the sole fatality. And according to this report released Friday, Madura had rented the plane, which showed no sign of a problem during a previous flight the same morning, July 13th. There was no flight plan filed for the plane, which took off from West Houston Airport, crashing, sadly, some 30 minutes after takeoff. And the actual review into what happened, that investigation remains underway tonight. Meantime, we did reach the family of Mr. Madura. They're too shaken up to speak as their family copes with this awful loss. Live for you tonight in the Katy area, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brandon, thank you.